What's up, everyone? Welcome to BTI. I'm Josh Matthews. That's Gia Miller, and we have so much to get to. We don't have time for your shenanigans no, this week, no, okay? No. Zero shenanigans. It's business. It's business. business. We got to talk business. about the tag team tournament. And the Important number- business. I was going to have Kevin pan down to show your, your business no, attire but footwear, we have, but Kevin's we have over business. behind his phone texting and tweeting. Well, we have Or business. Xing, whatever they call it now. We Is have, it Xing? I don't know. You don't know? I'm you, on, are you on threads? Yes, I do have Wait, a, I don't Josh, thread. Josh, you're distracting me. I don't me. thread, but I have threads. Okay, you're distracting me. Do you thread? Do you follow me? <laughs> I'm on TikTok, too. Do you follow me on TikTok? All right. Where it's the I? number one contenders tournament. It was a big match. It was the right. You know what? I'll just I'll just do it. Let's take you back to the main event from last week. It was the Rascals taking down Mike Bailey and Jonathan Gresham. The winning team would move on in the number one contenders tournament to face the tag team champions at Emergence. That's good. I could just do this whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, bye. This is first round action in the tournament to determine the number one contenders to the Impact World Tag Team Champion subculture come the Emergence event live in Toronto on Sunday, August 27th. This is the Rascals against Jonathan Gresham and Speedball Mike Bailey. The Rascals who, quite frankly, proved that they already deserve a championship opportunity oh. after they won a singles match against the ABC. Cover, cover to advance. And a bridge out there by Gresham. Hold on, you're using the word deserve a lot when it comes to the Rascals. You have argued many, many times that just because you pin one half of a tag team championship team, that it doesn't necessarily guarantee you a tag team title shot. Uh, Okay, what are you gonna say about the Knockouts World Tag Team title situation? Giselle Shaw beats Masha Slanovich, singles matchup. Gets a it, it doesn't guarantee team you. It, it oh helps. My God. It never oh. guarantees anything. You've seen that happen when you were a tag team the, champion. The mental, the mental gymnastics you just went through, Hannah. Gresham trying Lord to get to the you. corner. Tag made. There are no guarantees in pro wrestling. Can we agree on that? Sure. Oh. Oh, except that that is going to hurt like hell, Tom. Beautiful missile drop kick there by Bailey. Now going after. Trey Miguel, former rivals over the X Division crown. Oh, running shooting star. Here's the cover and a kick out. And don't forget, at the conclusion of this matchup, we will see Eric Young's exclusive footage as to what actually went down between himself and Diener months ago. I am dying to see what happened there. No pun intended here, but oh! what a move there by Trey Dang. Miguel. And now Wentz is legal. Drop Bailey high on the neck. Kick oh, right to the God. face. Not done yet, though. Oh, oh, and the double stomp. Great teamwork. And the Rascals advance. Oh, and a kick out. The other first round matchup in this tournament goes down next week. The ABC, who've been screwed by the Rascals multiple times, will take on Sammy Callahan and Rich Swan. Rascals do like to stir things up wherever they go. Send a message to those who need to hear it. Hold on. Let's think about that headlock DDT. He's used to get wins, especially a win last week against Bailey. Bailey saw it coming this time, though. Oh! oh. Boat right to the face. Oh! Great faint block there from Bailey. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Made Wentz think about it. And a new strike. Guys very familiar with each other here. Oh, caught in midair! Chance to advance here towards a tag team title, title opportunity on the line. There's the tag, though. In comes Gresham. In comes Miguel. Gresham taking out the footing there of Trey Miguel. Trying to turn things up. Again, trying to work the joints, eliminate the base of Trey Miguel. Looks like he's doing it. Done enough damage there to the knee. Look at this, the roll up into the cutter. Gresham and Bailey firing on all cylinders. Can they advance? Oh, and it's broken up by Wentz. Just in the nick of time, Wentz saving it for his brother, Trey Miguel. The Swanton off the top, broken up. And Miguel is hobbled, the left knee in bad shape. This match continues. Who will advance? 
Hold on. Oh. with the moonsault off of the, off of the ropes. And barely on the outside goes after Miguel. Miguel tossed back inside. Miguel and Gresham are legal. Wait, wait, wait. Power bomb stacks him up. Miguel able to kick out. Gresham oh. with a forearm. Cover. Could it be here? To move on in the tournament and a kick out by Miguel. All that urgency from the foundation. He knows what's on the line. He just has to find something to clinch it up here, but wait. Wentz tossed a can of spray paint into the ring. Gresham hit Wentz. The official didn't see the can of paint. And now Bailey oh. struck Wentz. Oh. 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 Wait a minute. Miguel with the spray paint to the eyes of Gresham. Handful of tights. The Rascals advance. What I tell you, Tom. Rascal's gonna rascal. Like it or don't like it, these two move on. Let's take a look back here at what happened. Wentz threw the can of spray paint into the ring to Miguel behind the referee's back. Gresham hit Wentz. Bailey took out Zachary on the outside. Miguel used the spray paint to the eyes of Gresham. Got the tights and got the win. Miguel and Wentz move on. So big. No, 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 no. Big win for the Rascals, and they advance in say. the tag team tournament for the number one contendership. Yep, I was going to say that too. Yeah, well, I learned from the best, Josh. It's going to come here on BTI. Champagne Singh goes one on one with Kevin Knight. But don't go anywhere, because coming up next, we continue to look back at everything that went down last week when BTI rolls on right after this. Welcome back to B. Were you going to do the welcome back, or am I doing that part? Welcome back. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you going to say welcome back? No, you can't. You want me to do that I can part? Let you do it. All right. Now we're going to show how the night began, right? Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Wait, can we get no. some cue cards for her? This is why we don't use uh, teleprompter. No. Yep. No. This no is teleprompter. This is all here. impromptu. Impromptu. Just, yeah, there you go. That's, that's the now word you want to say. Now, off of that into how. He was teaching how, me that oh, word. Man, he was teaching so me that good. word during, yes. during the break. Yeah. And uh, it was an impromptu match. Yeah. yeah. It was Deanna, Perrazzo, and Shindy who will be opponents at Emergence. They yeah. were on one team, and then the coven was on the other side. So let's see how that all went down. Oh, now look at this. Some teamwork here. Oh! Wild, not legal, King is legal, and a kick out there by Trinity. And now Trinity, who's been reaching out for tags here with Perrazzo, and you talked about a moment ago, there is that mutual respect between Trinity and Perrazzo, but it's, uh, it's self-preservation at this point. These two were looking out for each other for a while in the lead up to Slammiversary, but it's like, hey, you know what? After a while, this is only about the championship. Right now, it's just getting out of this matchup alive. That's, it's a tenuous uh, alliance at oh. best. The world title looming in the background of all of it. Now Trinity trying to get out of the corner. Head scissors. Oh! oh! Spiking wild head first into the canvas. But that opens up the window for Trinity to get to her tag team partner, her emergence opponent for the Knockouts World title, the Virtuosa. And a tag made in comes Barrazzo. And Barrazzo with a clothesline to Kylan King. The Virtuosa trying to close in on her fourth Ooh. Knockouts World Championship at Emergence. If she can knock off Trinity. But look at this. There you go. Right into the Fujiwara armbar. Dead center of the ring. Nowhere to go for Kylan King. Hold on, King. Trying to escape. Oh. Brazo, no doubt, trying to get her submission game back on track. First time she ever submitted. Oh. In all of Impact Wrestling to Trinity. Oh, it's anniversary. Combination offense there from Kylan King. Great DDT, tucks the arm, kick out by Barraza. That is the resilience of the Virtuosa. But how much more of this can she take? Oh, King here could be looking to set up the King's curse. Virtuosa fighting her away. And Perrazzo, very smart there. Oh, and a pump kick. Aber will evade one of King's best shots. Double knees there by Wild. And there's Trinity! Into the fray here, the Knockouts World Champion. Uh-oh. Oh, went for the rear view on King. Hit with a German. And everybody's 
down. Great impromptu matchup to begin this evening here inside Cicero Stadium in Chicago, the site of this year's Bound for Glory, our biggest pay-per-view of the year, come October 21st. I cannot wait for that huge night, huge city. It's going to be a great event, but who is going to be the knockout world champion? Come Bound for Glory. Chance of this is awesome here in the Windy City. King and Perrazzo exchanging heavy shots. Back and forth here. King has the reach. Perrazzo with some power of her own, though. And Perrazzo, the chops to King. Oh, what a kick by King! And now, could she get it here? I was going for King's curse. Oh! Down to the canvas, Fujiwara Armbar. And once again, locked in. Can King counter again? Or is she locked in for good? Oh, and Wild breaking up the submission attempt. And now Trinity sending Wild. Oh! Some incidental contact there. Trinity was going for Wild, struck Perrazzo instead. And immediately dumped out here on the floor. And now Perrazzo alone in the ring. Two on one opportunity for the cover. Oh, no! There's the King's curse. Is that enough? A measure of revenge on behalf of the Coven, courtesy of Kyla King. What will the effect of this be on our way towards emergence? Trinity and Perrazzo, their knockouts world title match looming in Toronto. Well, a little miscue between Deanna and Trinity leads to a victory for the Coven. I mean, I didn't think that Deanna Perrazzo and Trinity were going to be on the same page at all there. I mean, yeah, they have a common enemy in the Coven, but nonetheless, I can't wait to see those two clash yet again at Emergence. Speaking of one-on-one -on -one action, Angels and Heath went one-on-one -on -one last week. Both men looking to secure a victory. Hey, if you believe it, enough. Oh. Just maybe it'll come true. I appreciate the confidence of Alan Angels. Oh. Great hip toss there. Speaking of the United Kingdom, Scotland, Newcastle, and Coventry. Impact's UK Invasion Tour, our first major events in the United Kingdom in eight years. You can get your tickets for three great nights of action at impactwrestling.com. into the knees of Heath. And it doesn't look like Heath may have the opportunity to go. He might be too banged up courtesy of Alan Angels here. I don't necessarily oh. approve of Alan Angels conduct as of late, but going after the knees, it was very creative there using the steel steps. Smart move there from Angel, and following up with that chop block. An absolutely calculated professional. Oh, now Heath. Heath is in a bad way here after the oh, use of the steel stairs, the chop block, and now the kick right to the back of the knee. Alan Angel's laser focused on eliminating the base of Heath. Ain't no hip swiveling can be done when your knee is destroyed. Oh! Alan Angel's formerly of the design here in Impact Wrestling. Very curious for the fallout from what happened last week, our main event. Eric Young defeating Nick Aldis, and then after the fact, Diener and Khan of the design swarming Young. So much unfinished business there between Eric Young, Diener, and Khan. Who knows what the hell is going to happen down that highway? You know, I thought Chicago would be better than this. Literally watching Angels beat the tar out of Heath and saying he sucks. You know, you say that a lot every time we're here, that your city folks, oh, we'd be better than they are. Well, they should. Oh, oh that's better. Beautiful DDT by Angels after taking out the knee, but Heath is still alive. 
Everybody should be applauding that from Allen Angels. And Heath is in a bad way. You can see him grabbing at his left knee. Angels has done a good job taking away the base of Heath. And continues to target in on that. Focus in. Smart strategy from Allen Angels. And now going up to the high-risk district. Whoa! Going for a moonsault there. Heath able to roll out of the way, bought himself some time. Well, there's some veteran instincts from Heath. I'll give him that, but can he recover, get back to a vertical base? He does, but he's still walking on wobbly legs. And now Heath, former Golden Gloves boxing champion. Throwing those oh. heavy hands, but oh! oh! Hard down onto the tailbone for Angels. Oh, and the leg lariat. Heath trying to push through despite the damage done to the left knee. Yeah, you see him keep grabbing at it. Always returning there to the, the agony. Oh! And Angels able to take advantage there. Point of the boot right to the face. Down goes Heath. Angels is thinking about going up top once again. This time, Heath locked in his sights. Oh, and oh! oh with a power slam on the cross body! Angels somehow kicked out. Credit where credit is due to Heath there, the strength with the bad leg and all to stop Angels mid-air, stop all of his momentum and slam him to the mat. That's a great way to turn things around in this one. Heath hobbled, thinking about a wake-up call. Angels was in position, able to duck out of the way. Oh, great thinking here from Angels, though. Looking for a backslide. Oh! oh, took out the knee. Backslide, nearly pinned Heath. The match continues. That was a brilliant oh. strategy. Almost worked, but wait! Oh, went for the halo strike. Hit with a wake-up call. Deja vu for Angels. Heath wins. Here is your winner, Heath! Incredible win there from Heath. Will he consider this justice? Heath putting Allen Angels in his place tonight in the impact zone. Take a look back here at the conclusion of this matchup. Allen Angels went for the halo, strength this spinning heel kick, and then bam, hit with a wake up call by Heath. And Heath has always been a man of the people, and he's going to celebrate with the fans here in Chicago. The Redhead Rebel is rolling here at Impact. Well, big victory for Heath. Wake oh, up call. baby. That's, that was pretty good. Thank you. You need a little country twang, though. You ever been in a I country? I don't have enough twang. Country? That's the first time I've heard that, Josh. Yeah, you need more twang. All right, more, all right. No, oh, punch. baby. There you go. Oh, baby, we got a lot more coming up right here on BTI. Still to come, the action gets started right here on BTI when Champagne Singh goes one-on-one -on -one with Kevin Knight. But coming up next, more highlights from Impact Wrestling from last week. Don't move a muscle. BTI rolls on right after this. Welcome back to BTI. You know what? This show's perfectly made, tailor-made for the Digital Media Championship because we are on digital did. platforms. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're How right. So it's only fitting that we only talk fitting. about the triple threat match only that went fitting. down last week. Yeah. It was Joe Hendry versus Kenny King, the current DMC, and Yuya Uemura. Kenny King here and Joe Hendry exchanging blows center of the ring. I remember the rivalry between these two, the uh, stripper Kenny video. That we don't need to be reminded, Tom. <laughs> the stripper Kenny video that Joe Hendry created. The internet's a bad enough place oh! without sending people back. Power slam. Oh, and a kick out by Hendry. King dethroning the longest reigning digital media champion of all time in Hendry at the countdown to Slammiversary. And I hope that's a lesson for Joe Hendry. Be careful who you like to mock, make fun of, be a bully towards. That's right, Kenny King made him pay. Up on the shoulders, thinking about the chin checker. Maybe the royal flush, but it's blocked there. Oh, by Hendry. Look, look, Yuya up to the top rope here. On a crossbody, Hendry and King are down. Now Yuya oh. turning things around here, taking on both guys. Yeah. Oh, and Uemura 
Going after both men, opposite corners. Is this Yuya's night? Back and Hold forth on. here. Now uh, Hendry goes after Wilmer. Oh, oh, beautiful belly to back suplex. Cover to win the digital media title. And King broke it up, hands right in the eyes. That's a little bit of that wherewithal that comes with the veteran experience of someone like Kenny King. Something Yuya needs to start picking up a little bit more on that position. And King was right there to make the save. Great matchup here inside Cicero Stadium in Chicago. The Digital Media Championship at stake. The champion, Kenny King. Now firing off here. Hendry goes after Yuya. All three guys here peppering each other back and forth. Uppercuts here from Hendry. Now a little headbutt there, meeting of the minds, but oh! Danny Cordo! Hendry just got leveled, and oh! What a drop kick by Yuya! And once again, Yuya Uemura on fire here. And now Uemura going up to the top turnbuckle. He's used the crossbody in the past to get some big wins here. You see there, Hendry just pushing Kenny King out of the way, but oh! oh! What a cutter! Hendry was lying in wait for his friend, Sheldon Jean, backing up Kenny King, preventing Hendry from wait, getting the cover. Wait, is this it? Oh, what a kick out by Iwamura. It's a triple threat match. Oh, Anything man. goes. Oh, oh, no count outs, no disqualification. Down goes Jean, put back inside the ring. Kenny King looking to hook up Yuya Uomura here. And one of the Tiger drivers, Uomura, able to get out of it for a moment. Hendry back up on the apron now. Oh! oh. Uomura rammed into Hendry. And look out. Uh-oh. Royal flush! Got him! Kenny King withstands the triple threat and retains his title. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner and still digital media champion, King King! And the King retains his crown. Well, big win, but what comes next? Well, Kenny King retains the Digital Media Championship, the DMC, as Gia referred to it, and we'll see what is next for Kenny King. What's next right here on BTI? I can't wait to tell you about it. It was Jake Something who made his triumphant return to Impact Wrestling at the Slammiversary. Jake Something looking to pick up a victory last week. Jake Something, why he departed Impact Wrestling, he went out to make himself into something more something greater, something bigger than ever before. And that is what he has become in a very short period of time in his entire Impact Wrestling career. And frankly, ever since Slammiversary, it's been shot out of a cannon. No, 100%. I've always known this guy right here has every single tool to be a huge star in this business. Even extending a hand of respect there to Davey Vega refuse and that's not a smart move when someone like jake something is about to eat you for lunch oh smashing his opponent face first into the canvas jake something talks about starting from dirt starting from nothing building himself up to your point top into <laughs> something look at this oh. vega. vega just went to apply a simple headlock he couldn't even keep something that he even remotely pinned down to apply it oh. And now turn absolutely inside out. The power, the explosiveness of Jake something. He's a force that cannot, will not be contained. Oh. And now look out. Whoa! Oh. And now Vega wisely rolling underneath the ropes to the apron to avoid something. Just trying to get some kind of breathing room, any kind of room. Oh! Use that space, kick right to the ear. That just ticked off Jake something. Going for a sunset flip. I don't know if he's gonna be able to outpower the 260-pounder. Good luck, look at that! Oh! oh! What a forearm shiver by something! That clubbing blow. His forearm, a human battering ram. And now, like I
like a chained up dog about to be released here. Vegas trying to get out of the ring once again. And you gotta be faster than that to get away from Jake Something! Oh! Leveled by something! And Vega caught up and sent into the void. Shake something gets another victory. Here's your winner, Jake Something. Jake Something already building some momentum. What I'm are buying, you buying stock in Jake Something? I, He's I, gonna be a big star here. That's a fair choice. Done. Still to come, singles action right here on BTI as Champagne Sing clashes with Kevin Knight. But up next, it's our social media top five. Five back moment of the week. Nice man intel and more. Don't go anywhere. BTI rolls on right after this. Welcome back to BTI, everyone. As you can see, Gia Miller is gone. She's off to call the action with Tom. We'll have that for you in just a second. But before we get to all that, let's take you back and show you what Impact was talking about this week. It's our social media top five. And now, the social media top five moments on BTI, number five. Last week, it was revealed just how Eric Young survived last year. Number four. A minor miscommunication cost the match for Trinity and Deanna. Number three. Impact Wrestling is coming back to the UK and tickets are on sale now. Number two. Another match announcement made for Multiverse United 2, Team Impact, Moose, and Eddie Edwards will take on Shane Haste and Zack Sabre Jr. of TMDK. And at number one... The 1,000th episode of Impact Wrestling is going to be beautiful with the beautiful people in attendance. So from the top five to the not so top five, it's only one, it's the clapback moment of the week. It's where trash talking happens on the internet. Maybe you're up too late and you've had a little bit to drink and then you grab your phone and you tweet something and we capture it and show it to the world. Here it is. The clapback moment of the week is. Diener coming in with a killer clapback. So if you want all the behind the scenes news, all the stakes, everything that's happening here in Impact Wrestling, there's one guy that's got all the information. His name's Iceman. We don't know where he lives, but he's got like a cave of some sorts and he brings us all of his intel. Iceman, what do you have for us this week? Welcome to Iceman's Intel. I'm George Iceman. Let's get into it. We all have our eyes on Impact on Access to watch and see who will be victorious in the tag team tournament. Who's it gonna be? Who's moving on to take on Subculture in Toronto, August 27 for Emergence? By the way, tickets are still available. You can get yours and come on down. It's going to be an incredible show, plus Emergence Fallout. So get your tickets, or you can sit in the comfort of your own home and order it live on Impact Plus and on Fight today. Here's the scoop. I'm hearing that Subculture is watching every single episode and tuned in from the UK to see who will it be. You see, they're trading for one team specifically, but if another team wins, well then that whole thing has to change. Who's it gonna be? Who will be victorious? Tune in and find out. Cicero Stadium in Chicago, Illinois, for what has been a hot time of year in the Windy City, Gia. Oh yeah, it is a it is a warm one here today, and I think it might be because of this blazer. It's pretty uh pretty snazzy. Uh, I appreciate that, but I think Raj Singh probably has a more oh. expensive fashion and taste than I could ever imagine. Yeah, I'm so. sure I'm sure he'd argue with me on that point, but I mean, let's see if they can bring the heat tonight. Raj Singh and Shira, no doubt, disappointed that they are not a part of the Impact World Tag Team title match or the tournament that recently took place on Access TV. Jet, Kevin, nice! 
Meanwhile, Kevin Knight has been exceptional as of late. His recent matchup on Access TV against Jake something was spectacular. Oh my gosh, it was incredible. And that was a result of an incredible performance at Slammiversary in the Ultimate X match. Yeah, nearly walked away with a number one contendership to the X Division Championship. That, however, was won by his regular tag team partner, Kushida. But right now, Kevin Knight focuses on Raj Singh. Who's going to come out on top? We'll find out next here on BTI. Thank you for joining us on Impact Plus YouTube and Facebook. This is BTI. It's Kevin Knight one-on-one -on -one with Raj Singh here in Chicago. Fans still making their way in the Cicero Stadium. This will also be the home of Bound for Glory, our biggest pay-per-view of the year on October 21st. Later on, obviously, tickets are available on impactwrestling.com. Uh, Singh starting things off strong here against Kevin Knight. We talked about it before the break, Gia. Two men who uh, probably would have liked to have seen their tag teams incorporated in the recent tournament to determine the number one contenders to the Impact World Tag Team Champions subculture come emergence. However, they find themselves in this position. Impact Wrestling is truly worldwide. We will be live for Victory Road on Friday, September 8th in White Plains, New York, and the following night, September 9th, our 1,000th episode of Impact Wrestling goes down in the shadows of New York City. Later on in September, it'll be Mid-South Mayhem in Memphis, Tennessee at the Soundstage at Graceland on Friday, September 22nd and Saturday the 23rd. Impact is returning to the United Kingdom for its first major British shows in almost eight years. It's Impact UK Invasion Tour. Okay, now Raj Singh is telling the official that Kevin pulled his hair. He has none. Um, maybe he meant on his beard? Uh, now Singh is trying to pay off the referee. Uh, <laughs> Great observation by our referee, Allison. Referee Allison Lee, uh, keeping the cash and keeping the match moving. I like it. Standing switches here. Kevin Knight, side headlock takeover in control here. So much happening in the next few weeks. Sunday, August 20th, it's Multiverse United 2, for whom the bell tolls live exclusively on Fight TV in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, inside the vaunted 2300 Arena. Impact and New Japan coming together once again. Oh, oh. Oh, now Knight off the top oh. rope and down goes Singh. Oh my goodness, what a yeah. nosedive. Oh, power slam there by Knight, able to collect himself. The Jet Kevin Knight can quite literally leap out of the building if he wants to. I know, I mean, he is called the Jet for a reason. He is dis just the speed, the precision, oh. and the intensity of a fighter Cover, pilot. Cover, and a kick out. It's real maverick. I'm gonna take the low hanging fruit there. A splash there by Kevin Knight in control against Raj Singh. Oh, big uppercut. Now whipped into the corner by Singh. Singh rushes in, sternum first into the top oh. turnbuckle and mid-air, Kevin Knight is grounded by Raj Singh. Wonder if that took his breath away. Yeah, hard to tell who really got the better of that exchange. Oh, oh Singh just put his body into the crossbody attempt there by Kevin Knight. That seemed to have slowed down Knight just enough and Singh is in command. Yeah, he swung his body to the side, but it just didn't all work out for him there. It, it, I mean, Champagne saw it coming. Oh! Stop right to the face. Oh yeah, and it's gonna be an inc oh. incredible night, full of action. You're not gonna wanna miss oh. any of it. Oh. Backbreaker there by Singh. No. And Singh just keeping Knight one. close up onto the shoulders you here. Stay there, don't move. And now Singh oh. 
Oh. Knee right to the back of the neck. Gracious, how much more can Kevin Knight take? There's the cover. Uh, Knight gets the right shoulder up in time. Boy, this has been a heavy hitting matchup here. Raj Singh has just found the right windows of opportunity. Yeah, and, and we talked about how frustrated Raj and Champagne and Sushira are about not being in the tag tournament, but Champagne, he's feeling a little frustrated with Kevin Knight himself. He feels that Kevin Knight just showed up here and got all these opportunities handed to him, but I don't think that's the truth. I think Kevin Knight has proven himself, but I want to see if he can prove himself here tonight. Pressing the neck into the middle rope, affecting the breathing of Kevin Knight. A referee all over Singh. And to your point, uh, Kevin Knight, I believe, has proven, proven himself in a lot of ways, especially here in Impact Wrestling. Also, before coming to Impact in New Japan Pro Wrestling. And I Absolutely. I think that's Singh's issue, is that he's like, oh, you've got to be able to do it here. And doesn't really think much of Kevin Knight's past accomplishments. Yeah, don't, don't forget, he was tag team partners with Kushida in the Super Junior Tag League Tournament, and they did pretty well. Whoa! Ooh. He's going for another knee right to the back of the neck. Oh, and Kevin Knight was able to land on his feet. He was going for a DDT there. Singh using his power to his advantage. Well, Singh, oh, oh, and caught with a drop kick. And Kevin Knight has that explosion. He can pull out that athleticism from anywhere. Yeah, and, and so much of his offense is up in the air. I mean, it's almost like we're watching a dog fight. Both men after the count of 10 to get back up to their feet so this match can continue. And oh. out of the corner, there's Kevin Knight. Oh. Back elbow there by Knight. Singh rushing in. Oh. Dropped by Knight. And now Kevin Knight trying to find a way to put away Raj Singh here in what has been a heavy hitting matchup here on BTI. Singh has dished out a lot of punishment. Knight looking for some comeuppance. Oh yeah, and, and Kevin Knight can take a lot of punishment, but he can give it right back. All the way up. The hur Hurricane Rana there, and now the cover and a kick out by Champagne Singh. So close. Report for Kevin Knight here in Chicago. Now measuring Champagne oh, oh, Singh. Oh, oh, He's oh. Going up for the DDT there. Singh oh. saw it coming. Oh, oh, and a knee right to the, the side of the head, it looked like. He gad. And now Singh. Oh. oh, another knee right to the back of the neck. Oh, goodness, I mean. Oh, and a kick wow. out by Kevin Knight. Wow, that's a true testament to the resilience of Kevin Knight. I mean, that looked so devastating, but he was still able to muster up enough strength to kick out. And now Singh trying to find a way to finish Kevin Knight. Oh, oh wait a minute, oh, oh, Knight. Oh. Knight catcher Singh nearly had him. Now uh, Kevin Knight from the middle room, oh. cross body, one of that early on in the matchup. That's where Singh was able to cut him down. Oh, uh, he's going for a cover. Shira got up on the apron. And Knight trying to be wary of the Indian Lion. Oh. Singh into Shira. Oh, look out. Oh. DDT by Knight. What a maneuver with the intensity of an F-22. Cover, Knight beats Singh. with the precision and intensity of an F-22 Raptor. Congratulations to Kevin Knight. Let's go back to Josh Matthews. We'll see what happens tonight on an all new Impact Wrestling as we get closer and closer to Emergence Live Sunday, August 27th, my kid's birthday. It's gonna be an amazing night at Emergence, but who is going to be trending in the right direction? We find out right now. An all new Impact Wrestling starts now.